Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to talk about Proxmox, WordPress, and hosting in general. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy WordPress on Proxmox using templates, containers. You can actually download the containers from Turnkey automatically from Proxmox dashboard. If I go to local, as you can see here on my VPS, I go to CT templates. I already got some already downloaded. If I go to templates, here I got a plethora of templates that I can actually download. One of them is also WordPress, as you can see here. All you got to do is just click download and wait until the download is done. Then we go to the next step where we're going to deploy that container containing WordPress. I would like to take this opportunity in this video as well to introduce you a service that I'm going to offer pretty soon with a, a local IT company who also provide hosting. Now, this is not just a normal hosting. This is not something like shared hosting. Of course, they actually can provide hosting and shared, but this one I'm, I'm going to explain to you today is not like any other. Those are extremely expensive bespoke hosting for your website. It can be shared, but it's pri premium hosting. You've got no limitation like you do with, for example, on cPanel on those shared for three, four dollars or five dollars per month. We are talking about 50 to 60, even $100 monthly for this kind of hosting. But this company and, and myself, we can actually provide at an extremely good price. Now, if you're interested in a bespoke hosting, I'm going to leave a link in the description, the description below where you can actually go to my server cloud, add your details here. Again, guys, those, this, you know, this form, in any way, sense or form is going to bind you to buy from us. Just put down the information, send the email to us, the, the actual message. We will contact you and we can actually start chatting based on your requirements. And based on your requirements, we'll give you a price. If you're interested, you're welcome to be with us and do business with us. If you're not, don't worry. You know, you can go and find another provider if you need to. We can also provide you Proxmox, Docker, Kubernetes, installation of web website. We can provide you uh, a VPS if you needed to, bare metal, and again, shared. Even though it's shared, again, guys, it's not the cheap hosting. We're talking about a lot of money here, but we could do it at an extremely good price. I'm not going to give you a price because we want to do a bespoke based on your requirements. Now, without any delay, let's go back and let's go and start this. Now, the template is being saved. All right, so as you can see, that has been downloaded. I'm going to press X and we should have, as you can see here, WordPress on top. All right. So the next step is to go and create a container. I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to just say host name WordPress. I'm going to choose main pool for my resource pool and I'm going to add a password. Once I'm happy, I'm going to go next. I'm going to choose WordPress and then I'm going to choose the desk. For this installation, I'm going to go to 10 gigabytes. Again, guys, you can choose anything you really want, any size. For this, I'm going to choose two cores and for the RAM, I'm going to choose, I'm going to say 4,000 as four gigabytes. 1024 again i can write anything there really to be honest this is just demonstration but if you want to go logically 10 24 is a gig 2040 is 2 gig and so on and so forth it will be 4096 if you want to do this one here properly but again 4 gig 1 gig on swap the network is going to be for this installation dhcp i'm going to leave static for uh, ip6 here now again i'm going back to what i was saying about if you need uh containers from proxmox we can do that and you can choose and upgrade and downgrade as you wish this is the beauty of it of the service we actually provided so network uh we done that we go and go to dns 111 888 
again i could leave it uh, as default it will go through my router but again i'm going to choose this dns next i'm going to start after created and i'm going to press finish all right so as you can see the task says is okay that means it's finished i'm going to press x i'm going to wordpress here go to console and i'm going to finish off the installation so this is what is going on here let me put this one here for a second and as you can see we are inside the console the terminal all right so what we're going to go now i'm going to log in so as you can see here we got as soon as you log in with root and password again you need root and the password you put earlier on here now is going to ask the password for mysql at the minor this is to uh, to administrate your sql database so i'm going to put the password here then i'm going to press ok confirm the password then ok again now enter the password for wordpress admin account again try to have different password for each case for example for mysql for your wordpress account so make sure they are long and different okay and make sure you use characters as well so i confirm now i'm going to put the admin email i'm going to apply now let's initialize the amp service uh let me see here i'm going to skip for that one and i'm going to say enable that system of notifications again that's up to you uh, if you want to enable it disable it or skip it let's say skip for example but if you're going to use it and you're going to go live make sure you enable that as well for the notification for security alert just in case you need to do some updates now the security updates if you want to do it now just in case there is any i'm going to install it that shouldn't really take long as i believe is it is a quite new um template from proxmox right for transparency guys i um if you decide to come and join tls systems for the hosting doesn't matter which uh, you know which one you want if you just want hosting uh if you want the website as well they could, they could do uh, wordpress websites you choose which one you want and again the premium hosting it depends based on your requirements okay it could be a container on proxmox it could be bare metal cloud whatever all right i do get a little um like i can feel it many you know just just in case for everybody who signs up the money will be used automatically just to improve the channel it will be no profit in, on my end so the company is going to give me some money to ensure i got new equipment new monitors and whatever i need to make these tutorials so if you do join it thank you so much if you want to help the channel please and if you need of course hosting and website consider to uh get tls you know um offer here okay so let's go back on vps here and let's wait until that's finished all right guys so as you can see we already have the wordpress appliance services already set up we got the web uh finished with 189 we got with multiple we got the web shell we got the uh, web admin again let me copy this so you can see what that is all about copy let's go to the next tab paste and go of course there is no certificate for the well, there is a certificate but it's not recognized and i can see here we got the actual ssh we got the terminal technically okay we got the shell or whatever you want to call it let's leave that again this is the wordpress website it should be and as you can see turnkey solution linux everything is done here and again very simple to remove powered by linux i can go through it if you really want me to do another um, tutorial and go in details of course i got many different type of um, tutorials on how to install wordpress and get started so i can leave some link below if you wanted to so let's go back here and let's have a look at the miner so this is like php my admin that is different type of script let's go and copy that so you can actually see what it looks like at the miner again username all right so i really thought it was root but it looks like it's not root so let's start and have a look at the miner and of course the login is at the miner my mistake on that so i have to actually look on their website so as you can see now we go all the information about wordpress this is the actual wordpress there and all the tables about the installation 
So I'm going back here and that's the website. Now let's go and actually have a look web main again. Exactly guys, you got also web main installed. And this is again, if you decide to come with us, or I should say with TLS system, you also get this kind of, you know, um, you get exactly the same installation. So you will use turnkey as uh, for WordPress. Again, unless a guy, you want a VM on your own. So you can actually install, like, for example, over here, you can install any uh, control panel. You can have a cyber panel, a panel, I speak config panel, anything you want. We can actually make it happen. We, as I said, TLS is not like any other hosting company. They are good and they can do bespoke uh, contracts with you if it needs to. All right, so let's, so let's go here. And as you can see, we are inside WebMain. We got the dashboard. So we go all the information about the actual server. In this case, you want to call it container, you want to call it VPS, whatever. You got all the information here. So you know it is an Intel, two cores. Uh, this space we use that. I think we use uh, eight gigabytes or ten gigabytes, whatever that was. Uh, I think yeah, it was ten gigabytes. We got the RAM somewhere. Here we go, four gigabytes. I didn't I miss that. But anyway, we got four gig. We got the information about the web server. We got the MySQL server, PostFix. Again, you can run your own mail server. Everything you need and one roof. So again, guys. This is how simple anyway is to install WordPress on Proxmox using turnkey containers, already made containers. So if you liked it, guys, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to improve, and I'll try to make my best to do so. If you have any queries about the hosting, please go to myservercloud.co.uk slash portal. Leave your information, we will contact you and we can go from there. Again, guys, you don't have to buy. You just leave the information, we can start chatting and see where we go from there. So thanks, guys, again. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll see you next time.